Hello everyone, so today we are here in front of a NEMA TS2 Type 2 signal cabinet. So we're gonna explore what are the equipments inside the cabinet. So let's begin. So if you come from the top part, these are the for vehicle detectors. These are vehicle detector. This is the vehicle, uh, BIU. These, uh, these three are vehicle detector processor. Or, and this BIU there's a SDLC cable coming in and the way these vehicle detectors are co connected is if you see right here these are the field cabling coming all the way here from the field so these are the field coming and then they are going into these SPDs then from this SPD these cables are coming in and going into this processor and then the processor BIU is connected with the SDLC bus SDLC bus interface so and <clears throat> then if we come down here we have here our main thing which is the controller this is a ATC controller and it has a touch screen display if, if you want to configure from touching this is a screen you can do do so there are some ethernet ports here there are four connectors we are only using the a connector there is a sdlc connection going from the controller to the sdlc sdlc bus interface unit here we can see there are two poes in this intersection we have two cctv cameras so these poes are connected here from here so the how the way cctvs are connected you see these are the field wiring from the cctv are coming and if we zoom in we can see it is labeled as cctv then these cctvs are going into this spd and then from spd the ethernet is cable is coming into this poes again these poes are ac powered so on the right side if we see these ac powered cables are going into this poe then on the right side we have the mmu malfunction management unit and this is for, for the atc controller they have they can talk to each other with the controller and they not only detects the signal fault but also detect the voltage fault there's a programming card here and right now we can see the status display is no fault and this is connected with the sdlc again and on this side there are two power supply power supply unit and we can see there are some sdlc's coming in and all the sdlc's are going in here we have sdlc's coming from the controller from the mmu from the biu of the uh, vehicle detectors and the viu from the input panel all the sdlc's are coming in and there are some spare uh, SDLC is here all as well then at the bottom of the controller we have the input panel so this is the input panel and we can see there are two BIUs here and those two BIUs again is going into the uh, BIU interface unit so this BIU helps reducing the cabling if you open up an old signal cabinet you see a lot of cabling but using this BIU they have reduced the cabling so below the input panel we have all the load switches and I can see we have here total 16 load switches these are all these are all the load switches and if we see the, these load switches are for vehicles and there are four load switches for pedestrian and this is the flasher this is flasher and below load switches we have this flash transfer relay so when the signal goes into flash this flash transfer relay transfer the input current from the load switches into flash and below that we have the output panel and you see from the output panel all the field wiring are going into all the field wiring are going into the signal cables and the field wiring are coming using the, those conduits at the bottom 
you see this is this conduit is for the power and all of them are for signals and uh, vehicle detectors and if we zoom in here we can see each wiring is labeled here they each wiring is a label that is phase two phase two cal one phase two southbound and again this is phase four westbound and on the side there is a output panel for pedestrians and if you see it is labeled as pedestrian and these are the load switches as i told before so in this cabinet we don't have the preemption we don't have the loops we have video detector here and this there are two cctvs in this intersection which are fiber connected so since this is fiber connect those cctvs are fiber connected we can see here is a patch panel and the patch pre-terminated patch panel that is connecting with the patch cord this yellow patch cord this yellow patch cord is connecting with the ethernet switch if we go into here there is an ethernet switch so the cctvs vehicle detectors video detectors and the controller everything is connected with the switch in this cabinet we didn't see a ups ups is an optional thing and let's look at the side panel of the cabinet we see here this is a standard power distribution unit all the ac 120 volt coming in here you see this black white and green those are load neutral load neutral and ground wires those are coming in here there's a line filling this is a standard panel that brings the uh, 120 volt ac power into the cabinet and on top of that we have some maintenance port and there's a agt and on top of that there is a panel for illuminated sign illuminated sign yeah illuminated sign these are this panel is transferring power to internally illuminated signs in the field so yeah and if we see on the left side there are some circuit breakers terminal blocks and there's a separate pedestrian isolation unit that's for no, no sorry this is the pedestrian detector input panel input or uh, input no i'm sorry this is the pedestrian detector output panel the way we have the output panel on the the way we have the output panel on the bottom for the vehicular signals there's a pedestrian th these are the pedestrian detector output panel yeah pedestrian detector output panel and yeah we have some spare load switches here which are not in use we have some spare BIUs here some spare SDLCs so, yeah so a lot of going on into this cabinet but yeah this is very interesting to know what are the equipments inside the cabinet and yeah there are one, one more thing i missed it these are the test switches we have some power switches to turn off the controller on there's the auxiliary power on and there are some four signal detectors as well these if you want to test you can use these switches here there are some documents here there's a filter here and pretty much that's it inside the ts2 type 2 cabinet and this cabinet is running this intersection here so this is the intersection that is running with this cabinet we see there are see there is a vehicle detector two, three, and there is another one four and there is a cctv and there is a cctv and there are pedestrian signal heads as well okay so that's it for today hope we'll make some new videos again thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day bye